head, head north. So we have kind of exing, uh, extinguished our uh, options here. Olivun was whistling. Suddenly aware his traveling companion had grown irrepressibly cheerful over the last few miles. James turned and favored the square with the inquisitive stare. Why the student lift in your spirits? Unless I'm mistaken, we are heading towards my uncle Corvus estate and Kaval Keep. Assuming we keep heading that way, are we going to that direction, aren't we? Yes. So, new new area. And there's not hawks already. Okay, finally we got the enemy <laughs> off guard. That hasn't actually tennis happened before. Let's take that one. Fetters of Rhyme, which is cheesy. But it works. Let's do that again. Oh, luckily it was your, your low yield. Uh, why are you missing? That's that's the simplest shot there is. Yeah, sometimes this is too just too random. Let's wait and for James to finish the stuff. Finally. Big hero. That man wasn't defending because he was frozen. I haven't well not not no it's actually yeah he's he's okay let's take the armor craft away. So he's getting more experience to this one uh, skill, and that's I probably should have started to use it from the start, but yeah, it went, went, went that way. So this game is definitely posing posing us directing towards the attack in Northlands. Actually, this, yeah, it's a bit bit better bow. If we had it on the storage, we could actually drop it to the, leave it to the lock layer. One restorative. Wow. Okay, he has sixteen. So. Oh, yes, 17, 24, 24. Poisoned. Practical choke. Nice. Too many light crossbow. This is the thing. Now, now we are talking about, now, now this is like pretty, pretty okay weapon. Which of, which of us is better? Shooting fifty seven, fifty eight. So either of them. Can't you see them? Can 
Can we be of some assistance, you fellows? You appear distressed. Distressed? Oh, I. We are distressed in extreme. There's a terrible mess down in Romney, and we a lot are heading down and lend a hand to the river pool skills. What of you? You siding with the Mitchell that and Bar Paladin Glacier Guild? Glacier Guild? No. Uh, then you must support Ian. No. When we not commitment, say. Well, better lies than one of the rebel Romney uh, running the Romney at the moment. But I warn you, you best say clear of all that mess. Okay. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a house. <laughs> no one has been living here. Let's check around. This is really uh, make, making life a lot easier. So yeah, they were like uh, many, many helpful things uh, in RPGs or, or uh, in general. The Chrome, uh, often, often these old games are complained that they are lacking the Chrome and helpful UI tools and some such. Uh, but but the thing is that the the feature are locked behind the achievement that you get a spike glass. Now you can see the treasure chest and stuff. So it's not available at the start. Uh, while while in Modern games, you have a, like quest markers and pointing that he, that treasure chest is over here, so you don't need to remember, and that's that's one one thing that actually actually is has changed a lot. So you are you are actually giving a lot of helpful things yeah, from the from the start. Coming, coming, he said with a large chin. Have I got something to show you? Curious, Jeff followed the man into the house. He led the table upon which there was a bulky object, some kind of covered with cloth. With a great flourish, the man pulled away the cloth, relieving strength metal machine with a funnel at the top with a food and crank uh, uh, on one side. What is it? asked the woman. It's a gem, gem converter. Currently, it will only convert rupees into emeralds, but I'm already working on the formula to convert rupees into diamonds, say... I, I think we, we could use emeralds, say... Perhaps you could let me uh, test it, would you like to give it a try? Yes. We don't have any rubies. Ah! Let's remember this place. A balding man with enters and clear answered to James Knock. Are you looking to pra stay in Prankstone for a while? He wondered. Uh, do I have a house for you? Only 30 soldiers a month. Sorry, we were just passing through. Uh, what can you tell us about the people who live in your houses? James asked. Got a guy who claims he's an actor living in one, and my other place is about to be an unc of pied. That no good dragon lover has cheated me out of my money for the last time. Good day. Slamming the door. Let's see what we... Roots and herbs. Ah, there's lots of stuff here. Yeah, Anti-venom. 200 gold. Apparently, inflation is, is a thing in this fantasy world. Yeah, he's not, he's not buying. Karat was about to knock on, on the door when he heard the shrill voice of a woman calling for help. No can I help you? No, ha ha ha, boom, the rouse a small voice. The goddess of death will... <laughs> it's the actor. But before another word could be uttered, Korat to show the step back and just the door hitting it with his shoulder door gave way with a splintering crack. The force and impact caused him to lose his plans, but he quick, quickly regained it, drawing his sword as he quickly surveyed the room. He found himself eye with eye with the half dressed man wearing a wig. There was no one else in the room. What did you do with her? Korat demanded. The man spluttered. Spluttered the reprise, trying to catch his breath. What, 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 what did you, did I do with whom? The woman, 
We heard Humo yelling for help. What did you do with her? Gorash repeated more with the bewilderment than anger at this time. I haven't done anything in anyone. I'm an actor. I was just preparing for, for a play I will perform tonight, the flying show. Gorat Salotar. A play. We thought uh I'm I'm mean either sorry about the door, I give the sovereign twenty five sovereigns or whatever we have left that should cover it. <laughs> that that can happen. That can happen. When played, quietly he began to sing the refrain. That was beautiful. 94. Wow. UI wasn't, wasn't a big thing. Uh, UX UI uh, uh, planning. There was UX and UI planning, but the uh, um, Petrella Conronto prototype had similar layout than this. So I would say that UI wasn't much UI UX UX wasn't much planned. Feathers of Rhyme. Well, he was cheap. Okay, you can go there. Mist. Okay. Mist. Okay, it's it's missing time. Once again. Pretty slow. Surprisingly slow guy. I think he's, yeah, he's fourth. And missed. Yeah, I feel like these are not the best assassins ever. This place. No, it's it was the other, other place. I think. With the, with the boxes. We are, we are having quite a rally to the to the uh, to the shop when when we find one one which which is going to buy everything. Okay, there's more thieves. You will go no further. One of the men commanded, before you shall enter the temple of Banat, they must strip of all metals. Under whose authority you make uh, this demands? We are representatives of P Prince Arthur and order you to let us pass. The men seemed a bit taken aback by the news, but as they departed, they continued to speak at their levy. Metal is based an offensive uh, to our god. He who enters the temple with the metal on his person shall be struck dead from the other side of the temple, almost. Uh, auto earshot. 
same shit. By the will of Banath. Okay, the... Yeah, the Banath is a... Uh, 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 card of thieves. <laughs> so, why not? Okay, that this is farthest uh, teleportation location we have found. Uh, you can you can actually see it that we haven't been in this area, north not northeast area much. Let's let's talk. The horror was sounded. Clapping his hands over his ears, James looked recently uh, up at the brass bells as they were passed underneath them, mourning the fact that he hadn't bit off the beast wax to block out of clanging noise. If the priest leaning them took any notice, he made no sign. The lector of the temple of Banath greeted them with a door to his study, graying man with the rounded features and battled it each other on, on the back as they passed, said his study. How many of servants Banath uh, be on service, he asked. I'm, we are not, I'm not certain, same said. Taking a seat by the window, we have difficult turn your face, and I am hoping uh, that perhaps your god might have some insight into the predicament. The priest motioned for him to continue quickly, same read most of the tale, the correct breaking in occasion to correct and in inaccuracies. Winter Tain was at last finished, the lecturer was squinting at them. I'm not uh, sure how we could be uh, any assistance uh, to you, he said. It is the place of the temple to give uh, art when possible, it seems that I, if any of the things are, you are having difficulty with you have brought on yourselves or are matters that are beyond the reach of the that uh, of what I may do for you. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, teleportation services are, are nice in the temple. Let's check the farmhouse over here. Heavy set man as well, James Knock. Greeting them warmly, he invited them into his house. After several minutes of conversation, he offered them uh, into his house after, uh, after, well, some fresh water for their pouches. A kind of that's what Gladi accepted. They were preparing to leave when the manstone turned serious. You can uh, be, be careful out there. You have been hearing some strange noises. Wouldn't be surprised if it was the spinners coming out of hibernation. Spinners, over and grown spiders, Count Corvars has sent some men to patrol for we got the burgesses to the west, hoping to get uh, to the spiders but before they uh, have a chance to get entrenched in the area, but it would be pleased to keep on the lookout. Nice. Or not nice. Spiders. Okay, we found something. Straight, straight to east. Oh, this is spot. Casting. Ah. <laughs> okay, Elsa here. Beat the power. Ouch. Uh, feathers of rhyme. Ouch. Uh, 
I'm uh, targeting the man who is not frozen because then I can actually actually go and um, basically basically uh, his skills are dependent on the on the remaining health. So if he is wounded, he's fighting uh, poorly, more poorly. Ouch! Ouch! That's that's not fun. That's good. Ouch! That's that's poison. Same do something. Ah, uh, one one of them escaped. Yeah, like like this. So now we are going to use the health health forces. And we can use this. Since the close closing of the inventory is ending ending my turn. I think he needs a pen anti venom. Wind was fire. Poisoned. Ouch. So, uh, what we can do is to use anti venom. There's no room. You, you can read. Um, we have reason to believe Korath and Ardanian will soon be in your region. Should you encounter him, attempt to take him alive. Interesting. If you are overmatched, then slay him before he discovers our connection to the Nighthawks. We wish to have him breathing, so we may make a present to him of him to Delekan and the Six. Otherwise, you are proceed with um, the usual fashion, retrieving the Knight's piece from the bell. Ah, it's crucial that we have the information the Nighthawks have gathered on troop strengths at the Kingdom Garrisons. Knight beats from the well. Let's mark the mark that one place. Cabal keep. Duck's head in. Okay, we are still in the plus. Gambler talk. Omin stomach grumbled, waiting for uh, until the pa patron had finished placing his order. For the roast hen and the handcart of ale, the signer began the tavern keeper away from solitude is hoping both of information and perhaps a bit of to eat. Peter the Grey, in intense, let me, let's let me show if you need anything. The three of us are fine, but you sound as you have had better days. Is something bothering you, friend? Uh, I don't suppose you would be interested in becoming a skilly fully, would you lad? Scully, would you lad? Can't honestly did some of the list of ambitions at the moment. No, having problems with the help. Would call the problems as much as disappointments. I don't know what to say to the lad. He's good enough boy, kind, honest, hardworking. But all in all, he doesn't have the faintest idea which end the pan uh, the handle. I tried for the weeks to teach him how to cook, so the wife and I could take some time off. But when he, it comes to cooking, he's as dense and, and the thunder hell. I don't know what else to do, but enough about me. What can Peter do for you? <laughs> yeah, Tavern, Tavern Keeper probably knows about assassins. Have you ever seen night, any Nighthawks in the area? It's a poor friend, the Guild of Death. I wouldn't let them into my establishment when after my patrons comes in the inn, he comes spreading, and I like them living in the same condition, alive. 
please tell me you aren't looking to hire one. Hire one? I might be, there's someone I have been having problems with. Not another, another word with it, not another word don't fit. Whatever grievance you have with this man, I don't want to know. If you are looking for a contact, then you will not find one here. If you are looking for a criminal, try to poop in Prankstone. Ah, interesting. So, Parky, what sort of fare do you offer in the duck's head? Oh, the best of our kingdom. They always say that. I do some suppose you uh, of any of those girls servings with the road. Cost of 14 gold. This inn or is this tavern? Okay, we, we can't actually spend a night in here, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's it. Come on, keep shop. James Rostock occupants, the door cracked open with a small squeak. Yes, what is it? Stepping around to see near open, all wind bear had to go with a puzzled expression, then brightened. Miri, it, it, it's okay. They may look a little rough, but it's uh, but they're with me. Without a word, servant girl step out of the way, allowing three of them follow her into the foyer of the manor. Excusing herself, she, she skirted off to fetch her master, who was located in the rear apartments. Following what sounded like a distant argument, the dark man has swept me in the room, look at annoying set oh, in his features, shutting a glass of mild hostile fist that over an Open and then mortal, he turned to Signor. Can you think, tell me, sir, what is uh, what is I have to done to make myself so attractive to minuscule of the world? For the moment I first stepped on my bed chamber this morning, I have had servants swarming uh, about me like needs and bother some relations on my, on, at my ankles. Will you kindly mean peace? We have very great business to attend to, and I must speak to you. Whatever you must do, I'm quite certain it does not involve me. I don't care what the nature of your business is about, Signor. I have no other concerns. Is that so? Have you concerns about beyond the Prince of Corondor? Is he waving, <laughs> waving the Prince Arthur's friendship like a flag? Uh, if so, I shall make most eager account them before I, before him when I return. Go on and spell them out so many may take them down. I'm sure Arthur will be fascinated. The prince, you say, please understand that there are things going on that I'm not entirely in liberty to discuss. Suffice to say that I have something of the disagreement with the priests of Temple of Kahuli in Kenting Rush um, over a private matter. Uh, so, if you may excuse me, my outburst, I would be happy to service to a priest. What precisely I can do for you? Not that I dislike your new house here, but what happened to the keep? The townhouse is temporarily lodged in your nephew. I have no intention of staying cavalry like a common folk. As for the keep, one night, three years ago, an inner chamber maid left a lamp unintended by the tapestries which hung in the west wall. Okay, I can uh, see the thing. What happened next? You remember they don't you open? Centrally so woven by the fierce weavers of all the kingdom. In seconds they were the, uh, up in flames and they took the rest of the keep with it. I remember having heard something about fire, but I didn't know the keep had burned to the ground. It's a miracle that all of you survived. We were able to save anything. We saved ourselves over the only things true value that were within the castle. It's regular, but that the girl who was responsible 
for the parades was killed, but Ugni and I both escaped it hale and hearty. I ordered only a stones of the foundation left behind, and tunnel mode sealed, and we process forward with our lives. Why go to all that trouble? I really would prefer not to speak of it anymore. It brings me great grief, and I would prefer to discuss other matters. Went to a spotter for the Nazis Rangers. I really care you tell stories, and I used to visit the keep. It was a long time ago. Sounds like a useful skill, and it you could teach us something about it. Don't be absurd. I spent five years training to be a spotter. Do you expect me to teach? It all you in one afternoon. Yes. I suppose you are right. <laughs> 200 souvenirs. Yes. Okay, this is your hand, right hand. Good concept. Why? Your sword is slung in your left hip. Okay, family is the worst. Well, of course, there's money in a bell. James is quite a rogue. So now we are going to ferry the stuff we have been stowing away to this place. Oh, it's it's going to take like some, some time. But first, let's check the box right here or whatever, whatever it is. Uh, to curl across the fields. Lacking the arrogant bearing of her water, she moved like a wisp of smoke, her thread so light it seemed to. She floated rather than walked through the rusting fees. Flittering to Owen's side, she kissed him lightly to the cheek. Uh, did I ever tell you that you show up at the strangest of times? It's not to see you. What are you doing wondering about is honest God? Honestly, you astonish me. By your age, most girls have a common sense to realize there are dangerous types wandering around in the open. How's that for an introduction? You are only four years older than me, Owen, and I don't see that my age has anything to do with it. I just like to come out uh, here to think when I have a problem that won't solve itself, itself otherwise. It also gives me a safe harbor away from the father when he is on one of his raging fits. I understand. He's, a, he's not the one at the moment. One of the worst I ever seen. He's fired the entire kitchen that dismissed a car, thrown all, out all five of my mates. He's been away since the dinner uh, time last evening. I tried to ask him what had him so upset, but he wouldn't tell only that he had received some very bad news from a Messenger requiring a financial agreement, which he had made. Have any idea what the note said? Who knows? He's always about conspiracy this, conspiracy that. It's like he always afraid something about to find out some dire secret about the family when there's nothing to hide. Well, no problem. Families do have a closet, uh, skeletons in their closets. It's getting terribly repentant recently. So. You have this frightful look on your face, as if there's something you're afraid to speak me about. What is it? So when's the shooter going to snatch you up? I think on, on, uh, are there any that are even good standing? There are two neither of uh, one father likes, but then again he never likes anyone. I do. <laughs> uh, one is Myron, my father's solicitor, who lives at Ice Cavalkeep with his daughter Ami. 
he does have a minor claim on nobility because his brother is an earl someplace, but father thinks he is gonna, his connections are too tenuous to Forrest to consider. But about the second suitor, he's a businessman from Kenting Grass named Anavon Dushandu. I like him, though he can all can be a bit intense at time. I like to talk, and he's always asking me some point about mythology or another. He doesn't mind girl who reads. You forget uh, us if we look a little lag racked, but we are trying to find out what, uh, what murder that took place down in Romney. We have searching for a little while. Do you think murder escaped ca to Caval Keep? We are not sure. I really know that moment is may have something to do with the uh, brass uh, spy glass or silver spider we found near the bodies. Don't suppose a spy glass had a star in Scarpe, did you? I can't recall why. Would that be important? For someone who's part of the family, you certainly don't seem to know about family's law. We used to have a spy glass that sat on the glass case on the entryway to the keep. There was legend that if a person knew the right things to think, they could use the spy glass to spy on the minds of others. It was family for generations, but it disappeared at the time Neville was killed in that wine cellar all those years ago. Father accused the workmen of having stolen it. Suspicious. And that, the, that thinks was the person to think to make Spyglass work. I don't know, Neville used to tease me, uh, told me he knew what to think, and, and that he could use it, but never did. It's only a legend after all. Mm. Maybe James should start to practice of blacksmithing. Uh, did we check all? Did we check this already? We do some offers, but parents and keen. This is the dispersed most by riots and war. We do some offers, parents and keen. This is disturbed most by riots and war. It's, it's disturbed <laughs> by most. Do you have the... Yes. Brought to the table, cut and served, never eaten. Brought to the table, cut and served, never eaten. Cards. Yeah, this cut and served. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Give me that. <laughs> Plus forty. That's actually pretty good. Maybe change because he's all, always hurting. Now, um, I 
armor pony modification is 30 percent that's like minus five if uh, Gorath is, is an elf This is still basically about as good. With the, with the, with the penalties. This is actually as, as good as starter elf armor. My mind is blown. But yeah, sure. But it, it needs a blessing. I hear the count isn't too thrilled with the uh, one is Agnes uh, should. <laughs> Agni shooters, well, uh, Navon do Shandau, know anything about him. It's a pity he doesn't like the man, he's perfect, charming, and so mannered. If you haven't crossed him, but chillers if he thinks you're doing something wrong to someone, he would be just a cat's whiskers to Agni. Any idea where we could find him? He's a businessman, so it might be difficult to track him down. I think he loves lives the, in Kenting's Rush. You might be try asking him the taverns there. Have you got a spare room? I wish there was something to do. Only room open the dark set is the scullery. Okay, I can't, can't sleep here. Uh, being quite across the street from the count, you must see him quite a bit. Actually, no, but he's quite likes to keep his own company mostly. He's not one much drinking with the commoners. His whole family has been much the same way with the expectation of this daughter. Does he have any unusual callers at his home? There aren't any many that would visit him. Don't get me wrong, he isn't bad sort of, but he can be unpleasant at times about the only people in and out of the Ugnesutas and the men who work for the count. Interesting. Hello, good friend. Uh, we would like to opportunity to speak with you. Maybe we can come in. What, what do you want? I said we would like to talk with you a moment and perhaps fresh father for our pouches. What? You want fish father for your cows? No, I said we like to get fresh water for our pouches. And we would like to talk to you. What? Could we come in and speak to you? What do you want, dear? They say they want to come in and sleep with <laughs> <laughs> they want to see our ducks. We don't have any ducks. We, we could, uh, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, we have bothered you, folks. Okay. They are deep. <laughs> deep couple. Yep. So, Kenting Rush is place we are going. Korat was about to knock, but his knuckles touched nothing save air. The door swing open of his reeds. Accepting the mysterious invitation, they entered the dwelling slowly. There were cells on the every wall and the books of every shelf. All winners fell upon the wooden stuff on in the corner of the room. Ah, you have already found my lightning staff. If you, can, you, if you like it, I can tell. The voice came from the man sitting on the chair in one corner of the room. The table in front of him was stacked with papers, making his huddled form hard to see. I'm sure I'll pro prove your worthiness to me and I will give it to you. What kind of game are you playing? Korat demanded. His eyes, little more than slits, the magician replied. Not a game. He turned to stare at Owen. If you can answer the questions, I will give you my staff. 
but fail this little test and I said extract payment in gold. Care to try your luck. Excellent! Said the sorcerer, coming sit before me and we shall begin. One did see it as he was instructed much of the giant ring of Gorath and sat down quite nearby on and placed on the handle of this sword. First question of an is this our great and mighty bug claims who to know magic of the greater path, yes, and magic of the lesser path. Is this truly possible? Yes, because he is like hero of the book. Very good, my friend, Shramutant. You have two questions remaining. And, uh, Dragon Lords once ruled this planet. One of the, these Valheru dragon Corin called him the Lord of the Eagles. Do I the truth of this? Uh, not the Eagles. You are uh, answered correctly once again, said the sorcerer. His smile turned eyes. Now one, only one question remains. Answer it correctly and you shall have my staff. Korat looked into magic and cold, not liking the evil fear that seemed to interrupt in his face. Suddenly Owen began to shout, My eyes, what have you done to my eyes, black demon? I can't see in an instant Korat spanned his feet, throwing his sword. What? I haven't done anything to your eyes, brother, the dinosaur. Can't you see me? He shouted, waving his hands in the air wildly. Owen smiled party. I'm sorry, my mistake. Yes, I can see you just fine. <laughs> he winked. Twink, wink at the sorcerer, foolish me, and I thought your uh, your last question was going to be hard, perhaps even impossible to answer. Without waiting the response, he grabbed the lightning staff and began to head to the... Come on, let me better leave now. <laughs> this, this was great. This was definitely great. Okay, he, Jimmy is holding it. <laughs> Uh, uh. Uh, this is first time uh, Obun gets something nice in this game. Their staffs are like they are not not really really a wooden staff. Yep. But now we are we need to like place this staff somewhere. They were greeted by the, at the door by the very tired looking woman. Good day, travelers. How can I be of service to you? What can you tell me, Sir Kenting Ross? We are curious about this place. Well, sirs, it's a nice pl enough place, though lately there have been some shady looking churches hanging around by the well. She paused uh, at the moment, then pointed to the nearby field. My husband is out harvesting grain. Let's see what else can I tell you. Oh, yes. But very careful of the soldier who lives down the road. <laughs> so have tricking people out of their money. As the three casters, first two are very simple, but no one has ever answered the last one correctly. Until now. Until now. Okay, that, that wasn't... Dave sniffed there, but the better part of last hour he had been trying to piece together the details of the murder at Black Sheep Tavern. Something else once had begun nagging him, elusive at the na ma names of all mockers he had unsmart known. It had only been after a few minutes of considering that he realized that he, it was he, it was that was distracting him. Do you smell adding the odd he as Gorath struck the oddity of smelling jasmine in the open he could spot no natural flora that could account for the skin, but while searching he thought he spotted someone moving down the road towards them. 
No one to shun down. There is a little here to give uh, event enough to warrant visitors from the Breeder Sea. And if it weren't enough, it seems that we have guests as well as from Elvandar. Welcome to Kentinaras. This may sound strange question, but a moment ago I thought I smell spice jasmine to be exact. Does it grow near you here? The have keen knows. Unfortunately, it isn't local. I deal with the spices as well as number of other imported goods. I've just returned from lengthy trip into cash. I'm afraid the scent links a bit into clothes. Really now? But you only just come off the road. I've been smelling it for some while. I'm told scent, scent carries. There is a bit of wine today. So you are travelers in the area dealing with the natives. Can be sometimes, sometimes be difficult. Is there any way I can be of some assistance to you? Chess. Ivan Scott and at the Malak Cross tells you are quite a chess player. High praise. He isn't too, too terrible at it himself. He told us you had to move Garshantau's retreat. I'd be intrigued to learn it from you. I couldn't just give away a move like that. It's kept me undefeated several years now. I'm willing to play you to learn how. You have to hear an iron. He won't know what hits you him until you have it. As you recall, he always bets an emerald. So let's say at least get something from the win. Say one of sovereign deal. Yes. Proceed. Give me a moment. To find few appropriate stones. If you would sketch the board in the dirt, I will show you the architecture of Grand Humiliation. Ne James Green, as Navon played the, uh, all his moves using old assorted stones, the first apparent the play would be devastating if used against an aggressive opponent. Think you can remember all that? Navon asked, brushing the dirt from his hands. Not a problem, James replied. Dumping Nevers fee into hastily created chessboard. I think he was his the in for quite a surprise. We have as we have open appointments elsewhere, we should probably be on our way. Good traveling you then and if you ever have any need to of anything you are in a Kenting Rush, be sure to come and see me. He's a bit sus. I stayed this house here for a year ago when joining the North Water. Lots of abandoned houses. Yes, finally we found an inn. Couple couple days vacation. Ah, temple. We are escorted to Lector Chambers. I have very little time this morning, the lecturer said. Please make whatever request you have to direct this board. That suits me fine. Uh, they likely killed, killed a sweat squad of men sent from Pastura to first adversary who needs to get put. Activist not has been wrongly. The idea occurred to me while we were standing in the meditation chamber of Temple Kahuli. Might know something about it. I'm listening. When I was uh, standing the Father Timothy at the Astronaut Grondor. I learned quite about the various temples and their gods, as I record Kaholi a god of revenge, justice. The lector snapped. Not revenge. If one is innocent, he has nothing to fear from the hauler after fugitives. If one of us have violated the, uh, the vast strictures on our gods, an eluded punishment, however, via hounds that pay, pay at his heels. There's no place one can run to that it cannot sniff them out. A well-known fact, but there's an event that Tempo Kahuli hears assassins, occasion 
to do the sniffing. If you imply that we are to kill the assassin to kill the man in Plastura, it's, it is not so. We had no dealing with the hawks on the night for several months. <laughs> several months. <laughs> it may well be that we have a common cause at the moment. The priest stop for a moment. They have become curlish. They no longer follow codes to piety which we lay for the behavior of the faithful. They have not paid the tithe of great deal of time. We wish to separate from our ranks, but no protectors of faith will challenge them. I want them I want the night host lector. Tell me the name the name main who leads them and where they may be found, and we both can profit. The lector launched in the dark rumbling laugh that had not nothing of humor in it. I wish it were to be that easy. Kahuli, how I wish. But when the night hawks swore then off to the temple, they required the, uh, us holy oath, the Kahuli himself, that the identity could never be revealed to any, any that were of the temple itself. You would be have to least a protector of faith before I could even think of giving the name, whoever you see. I see. How would you <laughs> would we become protectors? You would uh, study with the prelate who lives nearby and learn the course of piety. Though I will warn you, his house is well protected. There's no many who do perceive us as the dispensers of prevention. Attempt to save themselves preemptively. I would say it is. You can come to the temple and have performed even one of the acts of piety that like to teach you. I think I can see you that you, you are made of protectors of faith. And you will you will tell us where to find these night hawks, James asked. The priest smiled most centrally. Okay, interesting. 